Hi guys, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to WizWorks and today we are going to do a mixed practice of the quantitative uh, section of the GAT or Qudarat exam. Um, this uh, this video consists of five problems, it's quick and easy and hopefully just to keep you going. So let's get right into it. So the first problem is um, 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed plus, we can fill in the blank, 4 cubed plus 5 cubed plus 6 cubed. Okay, so how, how would we go about this? First and foremost, we know that 1 to the power of anything is 1. So we know that the last number is going to be 1. We know that it's going to be one and according to the choices it's going to be three digits so all of them have one so there's nothing we can cancel out uh, second step so first we can do we can if you have this memorized it's way it's going to be way easier but if you don't it's fine we can um, solve it we can go through it together okay so let's set it up let's set it up i'm gonna erase this for more space uh, so we're gonna do the color red just for reference so we have one we have one plus what's two cubed first you can go about it this way if you if you need to two times two what's two times two two times two is four what's four times two four times two is eight so it's eight what's three cubed it would be way easier if you have it memorized, but you can also go about it this way. What's 3 times 3? Three? 3 times 3 is 9. What's 9 times 3? 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 27. And so on and so forth. For times 6, I'm gonna... I have this memorized, that's why I'm just gonna keep going. But if you don't have it memorized, you can go about it this way. Uh, okay. We got this. We have 3 cubed, we got 4 cubed, what's 5 cubed? Okay, f we know that 5 times 5 equals 25, what's 25 plus 5, or I mean times 5, it's 125, so plus 125, plus, what's 3 cubed? You know that three, uh, we know that 6 uh, times 6 is 36, what's 36 times 6? It's equal to 216. And all you have to do is add these up to get your final answer. So let's let's do it together. Let's let's set it up. Let's do this in green. So we can do it this way. Two sixteen plus one twenty five plus sixty four plus twenty seven plus eight plus one. Okay, so what's 6 plus 5? 11, right? It's 11. Plus uh, 4, 15. Plus 7 is 22. What's 22 plus 8? 22 plus 8 is 30, and then we have 31. We can go about it this way. So, answer we're going to put here is 1, and here is 3. And then we're going to go back and add this row. What's 3 plus 4? It's, I mean, what's 3 plus 1? It's 4. Plus 2, 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. So, go about it again. Um, what's 2 plus 2? Since it's 2 and 2. Uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. So, we have our final answer of 4, 41. Let's move on to the next problem. So, what is the value of x? There are two ways you can solve this. I'm going to start off with the harder way, and then I'm going to show you the second step is the easy way. So this is step number one, or method number one. So we know that this is 20. It means a straight line is 180. So what's 180 minus 20? It's 160. So this side is 160. And what's, um, again, it's going to be 180 since a straight line is 180. So what's 180 minus 30? 180 minus 30 is 150. 150 degrees. So all we have to do now is, uh, is um, subtract 160 minus 90, and then we get 70. And then, again, we subtract 150 
minus 90, and then we get 60. Why we're doing this? Because we're going to imagine a triangle, and we're going to imagine a missing uh, piece. We're going to imagine this as x. We can plug in 70 and 60. And we know that a triangle, a full triangle, uh, is equivalent to 180 degrees. So all we can do is, first let's add 70 uh, plus 60. It's going to be 130. And what's 180 minus 130? 180 minus 130 is 50 degrees. So 50 degrees is going to be our answer. Let me show you the second method. The second method is way easier, but I wanted to show you the first one because you could use it and manipulate it in different problems. So let's do, do uh, method number two. Simply, it's very simple. Uh, 30 plus 20. What's 30 plus 20? 50 degrees. And now you found x. Okay, let's move on to question number three. Question number three is asking, uh, it's saying, uh, stating a fact, saying that x plus y is 6, uh, y plus z is negative 3, and x plus z is 5. And we have to find the value of x plus y plus z. Okay, so how, how would we go about this? The way I would go about this is, let's change colors. Um, first, I would line them up, so... You would line them up uh, as so, so, plus z. Let's put a line just so we don't get mixed up because I sometimes mix it up with um, with a number two. So yeah, x plus z, once again, is equal to five. We line it up, okay. So how many x's do we have? We have one and two x, so we put two x plus how many y's do we have? How many y values do we have? We have 1, 2. So we put 2 y values. Plus, how many z's do we have? We have 1, 2 z's. So we put, again, 2 z equal to, what's 6 minus 3? 6 minus 3 is 3. And then what's 5 plus 3? It's 8. So we have this. Now all we have to do is simply solve but first we can just put the two on the outside and then x plus um, y plus c why can we do that because all of them have um, a coefficient of two that way we can just set it up this way now let's solve all we have to do is divide by two divide by two and what is eight divided by two eight divided by two is simply four so x plus y plus z is equivalent to 4, which is b. Let's move on. What is the number if we subtract 7 from its four proverbs, it's equal to 1? Uh, this is simply algebra. This is just very simple. It's algebra. Okay, we have four proverbs. We don't know what they are, right? So we can say simply 4x. And then what are we doing? What's, what's the action that we're doing? We are subtracting 7, so we minus 7. And what it's supposed to equal 1, so we simply equal it to 1 and solve for x. Excuse me, that is not an 8. For some reason, I wrote 8. So 4x equal to 8 divided by 4 divided by 4. x is equal to 2. Our answer is simply a. This one was very simple. Do not get uh, tricked by the question. It's simply algebra. All you have to do is think and uh, write it out as an equation. Uh, this is our fifth and final problem. So let's, let's get right into it. Let's change the color. Okay, so the question says x squared plus y squared is equal to 24 and x plus y is equal to 6, find x minus y. So this is a rule. You have to know that x squared plus y squared is the same as x plus y and x minus y. With that being, uh, with that like being known, we can simply plug it in. So what is uh, x squared plus y squared? We know that it's 24, so we can plug it in, 24. And what's x plus y? We know that x plus y was given. It's 6. All we have to find is x minus y. 
So all we have to do is simply divide. What are we dividing by? Six. Divide by six. So um, we know that, uh, you think of it this way, we know that six times four is equivalent to 24. So we know that is four. Four is equal to x minus y. So simply, d is our answer. And we have completed our five questions. Uh, if anything is unclear, please do not hesitate. Comment down below uh, any of your questions. And if you have any uh, question while you're solving from a book or not, please comment it down. I am more than happy to help and assist you. Uh, thank you for watching this video. This is WizWorks.